Welcome back to Ivy's Kitchen. Today on Ivy's Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make Thai food. This dish is very inexpensive and easy to make. Whenever I go to a Thai restaurant, I like to order spicy basil chicken. So if you're interested in seeing how I do this, keep on watching. Please visit whatsivycooking.blogspot.com for the complete recipe. Chopped bell pepper as shown. So what we're going to do is we're going to start to heat up some oil and I'm using vegetable oil. So we made a paste earlier with the Thai chilies and garlic. I cut the stems off of the chilies and I add it to the bowl. I'm using a motor and pestle to combine the chilies and garlic. We're going to add that paste to the oil. So what we're doing is we are flavoring this oil with the garlic and the spicy Thai chilies. I only use three Thai chilies. You can add more if you want it more spicy. And I'm gonna add the chicken. You wanna add the chicken before the garlic burns. I'm using ground chicken. You can use the chicken breast and just cut it up in pieces if you'd like. If you would like the recipe to this, please check out whatsivycooking.blogspot.com. I'm also on Facebook, facebook.com slash ivysfood and Instagram ivysfood. So, I browned most of the chicken. Now I want to add our flavor enhancers. I'm going to add some soy sauce, some fish sauce, and that's going to give it its salty bites. I'm now going to add my red bell peppers. For some added sweetness, I am going to add brown sugar. Some people make this using oyster sauce or a sweeter soy sauce, but instead of that, I'm just using brown sugar. This reminds me of the Filipino version called pork giniling. I'm not sure if you had that, but it's ground pork mixed with red bell peppers and some other vegetables. But it's not as spicy as the Thai basil. And then I'm going to add just a dash of white pepper. This is really going to be spicy. Next we are going to add the ingredient that makes this dish and it's Thai basil. You want to use Thai basil and not the regular basil that you find in the grocery store. It definitely has a different taste to it. So I'm going to take my handful, just spread that over and I'm just going to let it wilt in here. It looks like a lot but it will definitely wilt down. I like to eat my spicy basil chicken with a fried egg and I'm going to show you how to make it right now. What you want to do is add some oil to your hot pan and drop the egg in. And I'm going to season this with some pepper and salt. And I'm just gonna flip it over. And you can see that nice crust around there. Now it's time to taste this. Mmm. It's so good. Mmm. If you want to see this recipe, don't forget to check out what's ivycooking.blogspot.com. I'm also on Facebook.com slash food and Instagram. Until next time, see you later. Mmm. So good. Thank you for watching Ivy's Kitchen. Please don't forget to subscribe. For my recipes, please visit 
whatsivycooking.blogspot.com. You can also find me on Facebook or Instagram. Until next time, happy cooking!